Hi guys and welcome. So today I have a fun tutorial for you. I want to share with you how I created this telephone memory decks. I love all of these um, style of memory decks and I actually first created this about three years ago um, using a free SVG file or several free SVG files. So you do need a cutting machine for this and if you printed out the template you could probably create this without having a cutting machine um, but today's tutorial is going to be on how to create this using free svg files and using your cutting machine so um i want to start off by sharing with you where i found the um files the uh free svg files that i used for this um tutorial. So first off, you're going to go to SVG cuts and I'll have them linked in the description box of this video. And you're going to go to page seven of their free designs. So you've got free designs here and you're going to go to, you're going to select page seven. On page seven, you're going to find the free SVG file, the retro telephone that I have used to create this, um, this memory decks card. And so you're gonna download that and that's where that comes from. Now, if you go to YouTube and you find Lori Nunmaker, she has a video titled Memory Decks from Michelle and it was published in February, 2017. And again, I'll have her um, video also linked to this video so that you can find her easily. And in this video, you're going to go to the description box and you're going to look for her um, file right here. It says you can download the Rolodex file here. You'll click on that link. It's a Dropbox link and it'll give you um, her file to download. So those are the two free files that I used. Um, and again, I will have them linked in the description box of this video so that you can access them as well. Um, so in order to open the telephone um, SVG file, what I am going to do, let me close this one. Um, and I'm gonna come here to download my my files right my telephone files so it's going to come in two pieces you get one of them is titled telephone one so i'm going to open that one and the other one is telephone two and i'm going to open that one i am going to copy and bring this over here let me change my the size of my mat to a 12 by 12. um I'm gonna paste this on here, and then what it what happened to my other phone? Oops, it's going too far. Telephone one. Okay, let me open another telephone one. <laughs> um, telephone one. I don't know why it opens like this, but anyway, copy it. I'll close this tab don't save and I'll add it to this mat paste so this is your phone this is what you need to create your phone right um, I've got both of these right here this piece right here uh, I am just gonna get rid of it's a little line that comes on this part of your phone base and I'm just gonna delete that because we do not need that and then I'm gonna to go to my memory decks card. So this is the Lori Nunmaker memory decks card. What I did is I um, used the, what is it? The trace option. And I just selected a part of the memory decks card, this bottom piece right here. And it gave me this little box right here. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well. I'm going to zoom in a little bit right there. So this box right here, um, I used this line 
piece to create the line and close it off right here from this point to this point. Um, so that is done. Now I'm gonna copy this piece. And once I did that, I saved it so that I can use it in the future if I need to weld um, or create other memory decks cards. So I'm gonna go to, tele to where I have my telephones and I'm gonna paste the bottom of my memory decks card here. And I think I'm gonna assign it a color just so we can see it better. There you go. So that's what that little piece looks like. Okay, so I've got all of my pieces that I need here on one mat. Um, these do not have cut lines on them. So I'm gonna try to create these cut lines. I'm gonna select my trace option, um, which is right here. It says select trace area. I'm gonna select the dial right here. And I'm gonna click trace. So now I've got that piece and I am going to add a color to it so that we can see it. I'm gonna do this uh, brown to match this. <laughs> now I am going to trace all of the other pieces that I need to be um, cut. So this piece right here, oops, select trace area. I'm gonna select this part right here. And I'm doing each one individually so that I can separate them. Because if you do them all together, it won't allow you to break them up into pieces. Like to separate or move the parts, it'll become all one whole piece. So trace, that gives me my cut area. This one's cut, I'm gonna select a color. Color that the same color, so that's these two right here. This piece is done. I'm gonna move this to the right of me because I don't need that anymore. And so let me show you what I mean about tracing. If I select these two pieces together, it won't allow me to separate them. So see, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna click trace and when I try to move these around and separate them, it won't allow me to. So I'm gonna do them individually. Select trace area, I'll do this one. Trying to avoid this right here. See if that works, trace, yes it did kind of. So see how it picked up a little bit from the phone handle? I'll just delete that little bit. I'll go to release compound and it separates it now. We'll delete that. Okay, so now we have our dial. Let's give this a color. Um, let's use a lighter brown. Okay, so we've got that piece. Now we need the actual phone piece. Go back to trace, select trace. So it does take quite a few steps to get to here, um, which is quite all right, because once you do it one time, that's it, you've got it, and it's saved forever. <laughs> um, so I'm going to trace and move this to the right. I don't need that piece anymore. I'm gonna select this. Okay, so we've got this um, traced already. We're going to click release compound path and what that's going to do is see how all these little squares showed up. It's just going to divide everything into separate pieces. All I want to do is select this one right here and delete that and then I'm going to select all of these pieces and I'm going to say make compound path. So that's just going to put them all together again and we don't have to worry about that piece. We're going to add a color to it, this one right here. And so we know, um, we now have all of our pieces, right? So we've got the bottom of our memory decks card. We know that these pieces right here are our layering pieces. I'm gonna bring those to the front. So these pieces are our layering pieces. This goes on top of this. This is gonna go on top of this one. And that's our phone, right? We've got all of our pieces, right? We've got our memory decks uh, bottom piece. We've got our telephone SVG here. 
Um, I am going to group this. So I'm gonna put this on top of here and group it um, just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I am going to group it and you will see why. So I'm gonna right click, hit group, and I'm gonna bring this over to my memory decks, right? So what I wanna do is weld this together, but before I weld it, I'm going to have to size it. And to ensure that all my pieces are sized and you know have the right proportions, I want to size them all together, which is why I grouped them. So I'm gonna enlarge my pieces to I want them to go from this side to the side of my memory decks card um, so let me stretch these out I'm just stretching out the corners just like that and there you go that is the size I need right okay so now I'm going to right click and ungroup my pieces and I'm going to move the top layer over I am now um, sure that they are all that the phone pieces are all going to coordinate well with each other and have the same proportions based on how i enlarged them so i'm going to move this over here i want to duplicate this piece right here just in case i want to do a different tone use a different color paper what have you um, I really don't but just in case you decide you want to you can do that so make sure to duplicate the base um, and now we are ready to weld this together you guys so we're going to select this select these two pieces the phone base and the memory deck base. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna group actually I don't even have to group I can just right click and weld. And that's gonna weld my two pieces together. So this is our phone base. This is going to be what I cut out my design paper from. That's this piece right here. And my chipboard, my front and back panel, all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna right click, duplicate. I'm gonna flip this piece horizontally and that is going to cut out my back piece. So now I have this front piece, this back piece, and I have my layering pieces all right here. Um, so these are my layering pieces. I'm gonna move these over just so you can get a better view of it. And this is what it is going to look like. Let me group these just for the sake of moving it around. There you go. Um, oh, you can't see it. Bring forward. There you go. There you go. So this is gonna be the front of our um, phone and this is gonna be the back. These pieces right here, this is what I used for my memory decks card, I kept it simple. I just used two layers of paper. But if you recall, I did duplicate this one. So let me change the color. I'm gonna change this to purple. And let me show you what that does. So if you want, you can use a different color. You can use a base, cut your phone out of, let's say, brown cut your base of your phone out of purple if you want it you know to be a different color than your memory decks part then you can you know add these layer layering pieces um, right here and oops let me bring this forward so that's just an added step like I said, I didn't use this purple part, but definitely that's just an option for you. So I'm gonna cut these pieces out. And okay, so these are the pieces that I have cut out. I cut out my base piece out of my um, design paper, and then I cut it out of chipboard. So that's gonna go sandwiched between my front base piece and the back base piece, the back piece is gonna go back here. 
And then this piece will go on here, just like so. And then this is my dial. This piece um, for my first one, I actually cut out of gold foil cardstock, but just to keep it simple, I cut it out of the same one as the base, and that will go right on there. And that is our phone SVG file. Isn't that super cute? And you can use different sizes. Like this first one I did, the phone is a little smaller. I didn't have it go all the way out to the edge right here. Um, so it's a little smaller, but I wanna share with you the flowers and the um, word sentiment die set that I used for, for this, um, that started all of this. It's this word sentiment die set right here. It's from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, it's called the Retro Telephone Sentiment Set. So this is meant to go with her retro telephone die. I came onto her team after that die was released, so I haven't picked it up yet. Um, but I remembered that I had this SVG file, so I used that. But this is what it cuts out like. It says hotline, you get what. Um, there's an up somewhere here. <laughs> um, I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. What's up? Um, there, me, call, um, it's, chat, you get a little question mark, uh, anytime, for, so all of these cute little words, and I love the font, it cuts out really nicely, you guys, so, and it looks really cute with your um, telephone um, themed projects. So really sweet, but also you can use just on, a, you know, a card that you're sending to a pal or something. Um, it's a super cute sentiment um, die set to have in your stash. And then you guys, these right here, so these three dies come together. That's the word sentiment die set, right? Let me move that out of the way. Then these three dies right here come together. This is called the roll up die set um, or roll up flower die set. And you get these three designs right here, which are super cute, you guys. Um, and so in this video, I'm sharing this one, and I think this one is my favorite. So I've already shared these two in previous videos. Make sure to check those out <laughs> if you haven't already. Um, but this one right here is so stinking cute. And I wanna mention to you that if you have the border die set um, from Scrap Diva Designs, you can use one of the border dies to create th this flower right here. Um, but if you don't have that die set and you wanna pick one up, and even if you do have the die set, it's much easier to use this and cut out three at a time. So um, that's what I like about these dies is that it cuts out three flowers at a time. So I cut out three and I use three and this design right here, look at how cute that little rose is. This is my favorite out of the bunch, um, but I absolutely love it. And I wanna mention that I use these leaves on almost all of my projects because they're perfect for layering. This is from her flower die set um, that she has on her site as well. Don't forget that I have a code for my crafty family. It is Patty10 um, and you get 10% off of your purchase at checkout. So look for that as well. I really love how this looks. I love these little gems from Buttons Galore and more. Um, I think they're called the Crystals and they are just so cute. And this color is blueberry and I think it's perfect for this paper right here. This is the Maggie Holmes Round Trip Paper Collection. Um, so it just jazzed up my little rotary phone here. <laughs> I think it looks so adorable. So I just wanted to share that with you. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope that it inspires you to get crafty this summer. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.